think it's none of your business. I will get married when I have to. At least you're not marrying the wrong guy for, for a baby. You should think of freezing your eggs because yes, clock is ticking. Simplest explanation is almost always the right explanation. married in what society terms relatively late uh, yes and you've spoken about it also yeah, yeah. openly so talk to us about that you know parallelly what was happening in the personal life uh, when when all of these massive things are happening on the <laughs> professional front how was it like on the personal side it was beautiful you see uh, uh, i'm i'm the kind of person who balances personal life and professional life i i like that balance so i've always you know uh, gone on vacations with my parents spent time with my sister my friends so personal life was beautiful it's just that i wasn't in the right uh, relationships you know mm. i was uh, kind of feeling a little lost then okay but professionally i was celebrating so i was very happy about that i was like theek hai yaar you know every every time everything is not perfect correct so it's it's okay i was dealing with my own issues personally but um, then i was also single for quite some time yeah. and i was celebrating it i i really wasn't in a hurry to get married at that point of time because suddenly life happened yeah. you know industry happened great shows were happening i was like you know marriage can wait I, as a kid i think because i always wanted to dress up and wear makeup and i always loved the brides so i i wanted to get married but then later as you grow up you know life happens and you realize okay this is not the only thing left to do and uh, one can take it easy yeah so yeah i think that was a time i started realizing ki koi jaldi nahi hai yeah it, it's not that it was like a taboo not talking about marriage at home we used to discuss my parents used to say ki kya karna hai you know are you thinking about it i was like see i'm very sure about one thing it has to be love marriage for me mm. i cannot marry a stranger mm. i cannot i was like it's better to know a known devil than an unknown one <laughs> so um 30s mein uh, the only pressure i was getting from outside was from journalists every interview every event every show launch the only question i was asked was when are you getting married when are you getting married shaadi kab kar rahe ho i was like inko kya karna hai meri yeah. shaadi se <laughs> how is it relevant i was like how is how does it matter what are they doing for me in my life anyway yeah. nothing yeah. so just because it's a trendy thing to ask a single woman when is she getting married exactly so i was like it's none of your business i will get married when i have to there are very many permutations combinations okay. related to egg freezing egg freezing so huh? i just wanted to, you to talk to me a little bit about that so our uh, fa a family gynecologist who's uh, also in he's no more now he mm. used to be in pune and he's the one who came over for dinner with his wife and and told my parents and myself that you know you should think of freezing your eggs because yes clock is ticking and even if you you know don't want to get married in the next 5 years at least you have this you know and yeah. you, you have frozen your eggs and whenever you want to have a baby you know you can always rely on that so i was like okay you know this kind of makes sense i was like so how much time you know will this whole procedure require so he said about 3 to 6 months mm -hmm. and maybe sometimes it can be a bit painful because you will you know go through a lot of mood swings mm -hmm. your body uh, you know will change a little with hormones being injected yeah. so you will bloat some days you some days you will not feel good about yourself but it's only 3 to 6 months you do it once and then you forget about it yeah. and then get married whenever you want to no pressure yeah. at least you're not marrying the wrong guy for for a baby <laughs> <laughs> so i was like theek hai you know it just makes a lot of sense and uh, my parents and i my mom and i we went for all my tests and uh, i did it in pune hmm. um, i i took a break from tv i took a break from work i wasn't doing anything i was at home and uh, yeah in 4 months we finished the procedure wow and back then it was still very expensive and it isn't now yeah it's it's become pretty affordable yeah. for everybody yeah.